Georgia is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Eagles have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. That makes it first and ten. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they push him out around the 30-yard line. That screenplay was well executed. I'm not sure the defense was looking for it, and they weren't in great position to make a play until the first down was already picked up. He's into the open field. It's a nice run, and he's brought down. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. That brings him second five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 22. When you only need a couple of yards on third down, as a quarterback, you always want to try to find a receiver to throw to that's across the first down marker. Quick pass, and he's level at the eight-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the eight-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at the 12. He wasn't decisive at all in that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. It's the tailback. They go to the left for a nice game. Game seven on the play. That makes it third and goal. Third down and goal to go. Five yards to the goal line. Where the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. And somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Boston College could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Across the middle, tight end's got it. He's hit and taken down. First and 10, ball on their own 38. They go with a run. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. That's a game on the play. That brings up second and nine. Gain 
and six on the draw play. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Come on tight. Four down, four down. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Here we go. Green, 95. Caught by the tight end past the marker, and he shoved out of bounds at the 48-yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. From the 34-yard line, first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings up second and five. He makes a catch and has a first down. And he is drilled at the 12-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's hit before he can go anywhere. Quick throw to the tight end. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. So it's second down and about two yards to go. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 74-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. quickly to the tight end, and he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. On the ground, left side. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's good for a gain of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Double tight, double tight. Three down, three down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Here we go. 85. Lateral's back. He's at midfield. And he's finally shoved out at the 23-yard line. A long way yet to go, but at the end of one, the Bulldogs lead it by four. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike. Red 18, Red 18, Red 18. Brought down right around the 14-yard line. That brings up second down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Touchdown, Boston.
Wayne College. Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he converts the extra point. Boston College gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. It's exciting. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of two, of two yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. Man left, man left. From their own 27-yard line, hey, it's second down. Mike, 34. Hey. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only that getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. He's tackled immediately after the catch. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he didn't get anything on that return. Well, the coverage team did an outstanding job at containing here. You always see this with this team. They're very disciplined on special teams. A long field didn't bother them the last time out, and that's how they'll set up for this drive. Let's see what they do. Boston College is up by three. And he's tackled right away. Fires out to his receiver. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. how this linebacker was able to move up quickly and bring down the ball carrier for a short game. Nice stop by the junior. They bring him down in the backfield. Nice defensive stand there. Yeah, it's a good play calling defensively. They always had someone in the right spot to make a play and force the three and out. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle at about the 21. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21. Steps out of bounds around the 24 yard line. Now he 
tries to buy some time. He's to the 40. Awesome running here on third down. That can bring a lot of confidence to an offense when they can pull that off so successfully. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. the handoff and he's taken down for a loss never really had a shot they were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff he makes it to the 42 yard line gain of two on the play that makes it third and 11 third down and they need to get it inside the 47 He wants it all, going long. Can't pull it in. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He's tackled at the 24. Boston College's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star type game right now, and yet they got the lead here and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over and to see that their go to wide receivers not putting up these big numbers and yet they still have the lead. This tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the teammates of this receiver stepped up. From their own 26-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 35. The Eagles use their second timeout. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. He has one job on passing situations, get to the quarterback. And he did that job very, very well on that play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five Black receiver 90. look. Black 90. Hot, hot. Around the 32-yard line. That's a gain of five on one play. Third and down. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 32. Boston College holds a field goal lead. And they got it. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. And he's going to come up with a sack. So we've played two quarters. The Eagles lead 10-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. 
Uh, absolutely. And you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Great first half and a tight ball game, and we're set to start quarter number three. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boston College is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Gives it right side. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. The right side doesn't get much. Good tackle. There's a play fake. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Number 43, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Booming kick. He'll take it from the 18. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Returns for a gain of 12 yards. They're set to go for another round. Boston College has a three-point lead. And he's tackled around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. tackles him hard at the 18-yard line. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. That's a great tackle at the 12. Fourth and long here after the sack. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 45. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. And they push him out at the 28. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. made at the 30-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Four down, four down. 34 is the 
Mike, 34's a Mike, he's coming, check him, check him. Let's go, motion Black 90, Black check 90. Motion, motion, motion. <laughs> They'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Four down, four down. Hey, check back 34. Mike, 34. Set. Red 68. Red 68. He's looking for six. Drops it. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Georgia is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and it's good. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. This one's all even at 10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. you got to make every possession count. Got some open field. He's taken down at the 33. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike, 55. Right there in the middle, 55. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. Quick throw, he's tackled at the 47-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. Fires quick, tipped. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. Go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Brought down at the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes Third down, and point. they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Caught out of the open, and they make the stop at the 43-yard line. Number two with the tackle at the 43-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Throws a bullet. And it's intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 23-yard line. I really like this corner's ability to lead the play. He shows very good football smarts and pretty good hands, too. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. And they got him for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Hey, what's the ball? What's the ball? They come out in a five-wide set. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And he is drilled. The 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line. First down. So at the end of three, 
And a 10 10 tie in this game. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Check him, check him. Quads, quads, quads. Check three, check three. Nice grab on the play. Knocked out of bounds at the 43. From the 43 yard line, first down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Tight right, tight right. Pull it out, pull it out. Mike 34, Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Ready. Wide, fifth hut. Wide. Wide. He steps up at the 41. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 33. And a quick throw, and he's leveled at the 23. First and ten, ball in the 23. Ready, black, black. Tackle at about the 11. This is the ninth play of this drive. Gets rid of this one. From the 11 yard line, it's second down. Up the middle for a nice game. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A 10 play, 77 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Georgia is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. Well, I can say this much, Kirk, at least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Uh, it is a close game, and neither team has been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard, and at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? An interception cut this offense last drive short. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Hey, Brad, try that, try that. Run, run, run. On the run, right.
right side. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 41-yard line. They'll keep it on the ground again. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. A little toss across the middle. They bring him down in the backfield. Drop back a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 25 yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. And down he goes at the 34. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Just under two to go in the game. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Makes it out to about the 36. First and 10, ball on the 36. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That'll bring up second and 15. From the 41-yard line, second down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He'll go down to one knee. are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.